frequency of fear, in the heart of a long-forgotten forest, a rusty, decrepit radio tower stood silently against the backdrop of gnarled trees and mist. Abandoned since the late 1940s, its once powerful broadcasts had faded into nothing more than eerie whispers of the past. Until one unsettling midnight, it began to hum alive without warning or reason. The mysterious broadcasts weren't just ordinary transmissions. They were snippets of old radio shows, popular during their time, but now twisted into something dark and unrecognizable. The cheerful tunes were undercut by dissonant chords, and the once jovial announcers' voices were pitched lower, almost demonic, as they spoke in riddles and enigmatic phrases. It was as if the shows had been infiltrated by some malevolent force, intent on hiding its messages within the laughter and applause of a bygone audience. Disturbingly, the content seemed to be aware of its listeners, with frequent, unsettling references to the curious souls tuned in at this unholy hour. This phenomenon caught the attention of a local group of amateur radio enthusiasts, known among themselves as the Static Seekers. Fascinated and unnerved, they set up their equipment near the base of the tower each night, tuning into the ghostly frequencies in an attempt to unravel the mystery. The group was comprised of Aaron, a skeptical school teacher, Jamal, engineer with a penchant for the paranormal, and Sophia, a historian with a deep knowledge of wartime broadcasts. Each midnight broadcast seemed to peel back the layers of reality around them. Shadows grew longer, the air turned colder, and the forest around them seemed to whisper secrets of its own. The tower's red light, long unlit, began to pulse faintly as if beating in time with the eerie broadcasts. Time felt distorted, and the trio felt themselves slipping into the grips of an almost tangible dread. Determined to put an end to these chilling occurrences, Sophia suggested they decode the hidden messages. She noticed a pattern. The broadcasts were not random, but a countdown, each hinting at a more significant event yet to unfold. Using old decryption techniques from wartime intelligence, they worked tirelessly, their efforts punctuated by the chilling alterations in each broadcast. The voices began addressing them directly, warning them to cease their meddling, or face the consequences. The night before the final broadcast, the air was thick with a foreboding silence. The trio set up their equipment under the watchful eye of the blinking tower. As midnight approached, the broadcast began, not with the crackle of static, but with a clear, chilling voice that resonated through the forest. Welcome back, dear listeners, to the final of the Eternity Show. It boomed ominously. With each word, the fabric of reality seemed to tear a little more. Shadows moved with autonomy, whispering in the voices of radio actors long dead, recreating scenes around the enthusiasts as if the past were bleeding into the present. The group realized that the tower was not just broadcasting, it was resurrecting a past that should have remained buried. Jamal, through trembling hands, adjusted the dials and managed to insert a frequency jammer, disrupting the broadcast temporarily. In that moment of silence, Aaron, recalling a phrase repeated in every broadcast, shouted it into the microphone. It was a gamble, a hope that these were the magic words to end the nightmare. The effect was instantaneous. The tower groaned as if in pain, the red light flickered violently, and then everything stopped. The shadows dissipated, the cold withdrew, and the forest's nocturnal chorus tentatively resumed. As the dawn crept over the horizon, the tower stood silent once more, its threat subdued but the air still tinged with the echo of a bygone era. The static seekers left the site with more questions than answers. Had they truly stopped whatever was attempting to manifest through the tower, or had they merely postponed the inevitable? The broadcasts had ceased, but the whispers in the forest suggested that some secrets are too dark to ever be fully silenced, lingering on the threshold between reality and the static of an old radio frequency. If this eerie tale of midnight broadcasts intrigued you, hit like, share with fellow thrill seekers, and subscribe for more paranormal adventures. Are you ready to tune into the unknown?